everyone's been talking about the rumored breakup of seemingly perfect celebrity match Alex Rodriguez and Jennifer Lopez. I mean A-Rod and J-Lo, J-Rod, it just rolls off the tongue. While the couple says they didn't in fact call off their engagement and they're working on things, we'll just have to wait and see. Together, the two have conquered the luxury real estate market, buying up homes in Encino, Malibu, and most recently, a $40 million mega mansion on Miami's Star Island. However, before even J-Lo was in the picture, A-Rod had some gorgeous homes of his own and today we'll be checking them out. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Alexander Emmanuel Rodriguez, better known as A-Rod, is a former professional baseball shortstop and third baseman, a businessman, and more. He played 22 seasons in Major League Baseball for the Seattle Mariners, Texas Rangers, and New York Yankees. He started off as one of sports most desired prospects and is still considered to be one of the greatest baseball players of all time. A-Rod began when he was 18, playing for Seattle, and his greatness in this sport was already recognized. When he finally left to join the Rangers, in 2000, his 10-year, $252 million contract was the richest in baseball history at the time. Rodriguez actually signed two of the most lucrative contracts when you include his $275 million contract with the Yankees that came some years later. Among A-Rod's numerous accomplishments, he's been a 14-time All-Star and the record holder for Grand Slams with 25. He played his final game in professional baseball in 2016, but these days he has plenty of other ventures. Post-retirement, A-Rod became a broadcaster for a Fox Sports, appeared on Shark Tank, became the chairman of a couple businesses, and more. Considering all of his streams of revenue, his current estimated net worth is at about $350 million or more. Clearly, with or without J-Lo, he's been able to afford some beautiful real estate. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today, we're checking out a few places that Alex Rodriguez has called home over the years, and yes, some of these mansions he bought way before JLo. On this channel, we talk about celebrity houses, but if you want to know about stuff like JLo's five engagement rings, including the current multi million dollar rock from A Rod himself, head on over to our other channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and expensive items. And in addition to showing off her expecting tummy with the belted waist, it also ties her to her home on the West Coast. Let me explain. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now, Let's get into this video. In 2019, it was reported that A-Rod had finally sold one of his estates located in Los Angeles, Hollywood Hills. Considering this was one of his bachelor pads, he didn't have much use for it anymore when he was buying properties with J-Lo instead. Reportedly, he was trying to sell the mid-century modern estate since the end of 2018, and after a big price cut, he finally unloaded it. His former home was located on the most desirable street over Sunset Plaza, and featured an amazing combination of fixtures and furnishings. Sadly, A-Rod did didn't knock it out of the park with the sale, considering he first listed it at $6.5 million, and in the end, it only went for $4.4 million. Not to mention, he bought it back in 2014 off of Hollywood icon Meryl Streep for $4.8 million, 400 k more than he sold it for. Their property is known as the 1954 Research House and was recently renovated by an award-winning designer and builder, Zoran Balb, who put a contemporary twist on the house. Inside, Arod's former abode offered up $3,700. 700 square feet of living space with four beds and four baths, along with an interesting history. The two-level home was built back in 1954 by architectural firm Honold & Rex as part of Architectural Products Magazine and their research house program. They started out as a modern architecture experiment using new materials and techniques in the build. In recent days, the home boasts floor-to-ceiling windows that open to the yard, as well as highlights like a sleek Eden kitchen with designer appliances, including Gagneau to Sub-Zero and every Everything in between. There's a main two story living area with floor to ceiling stone wall and white brick fireplace, and elsewhere a walnut staircase and a ton of skylights that listing materials claim are ideal for showing off fine art. The four bedrooms are roomy, and all of the bathrooms are luxurious with marble and LED lighting. A Rod's former master suite has amazing views of Los Angeles, much like the rest of the home, and he was even offering the place fully furnished. The walls of glass on the main floor lead you to the luxe backyard where there's a pool, spa, and private seating area set around a fireplace. 
One of A-Rod's properties was actually up to JLo standards, as they spent much of 2020 and the past while living at his custom Coral Gables home in sunny Florida. Alex bought the one and a half acre plot of land in 2013 for $2.69 million and enlisted a team of architects to construct the house there. He wanted to create a completely new home for himself and his two daughters, Natasha and Ella, explaining to Architectural Digest. Traveling as much as I do, what I really wanted was someplace peaceful, where I could rest and recover and be with my daughters. A few years prior to purchase, A-Rod was actively searching for real estate and commuting between Manhattan and Miami Beach, where he had another modern mansion overlooking Biscayne Bay. The waterfront property, while beautiful, didn't create total privacy, so he went to look for a more secluded estate, and that led him to his quiet lot in Coral Gables, a city which is part of Miami. A-Rod's home spans 11,877 square feet and was constructed in a mid-century modern style with an indoor-outdoor vibe. He wanted the home laid out across a single level to connect the interiors directly with the grounds, and walls of floor-to-ceiling retractable glass throughout also make this possible. A 24-foot cantilevered entry canopy fronts the home and leads to the roomy common spaces. This includes A-Rod's kitchen, which was made up of industrial materials like steel, concrete, and dark wood. There's also a ton of bar seating for casual meals and hangouts with family or friends. His living room boasts walls of black and steel, a shag carpet, and plush couches. Of course, here, just like every room in the home, you can also open the walls of glass and walk out to the garden. A-Rod claims he designed the home with his daughters and his precious art collection in mind. He's a serious art lover in case you didn't know, and also said, It's fun to tell my girls who Basquiat was, who Warhol was. We live with this art every day. We enjoy it. The living room is only one of many spaces with amazing art, and here he has a portrait of Basquiat by Andy Warhol. While his home is great for showing off his seriously impressive art collection, it's also the ideal pad for entertaining. A-Rod's modern estate also features a lounge, indoor basketball court, and a home gym, which J-Lo apparently took advantage of during the worldwide pandemic. She showed some of her workouts on Instagram, and the gym here has several cardio machines, including a treadmill, cross trainer, and bike. I'm sure the active family spends a lot of time here. This brawling bar and lounge area was designed to be a large open space, complemented with full height barn door, and next door you'll find the cozy movie theater. Outside, A-Rod also made sure to deck out the backyard with all the fixings, where there's a barbecue, cabana, freestanding bar, in-ground trampoline, and of course, a wet edge swimming pool. While A-Rod has kept his custom Coral Gables home, and he and J-Lo have spent a lot of their life as a couple living there with the family, they recently won halfsies on an even bigger estate, also in Florida. If J-Rod makes it to the wedding and remains a couple, they won't need to defy this real estate purchase. The 14 thousand square foot Star Island mansion they bought just last year. This place cost A-Rod and J-Lo a massive $40 million, but it is after all located on Star Island, the most exclusive and private spot in Miami, a neighborhood only celebrities and business tycoons could possibly afford. The gorgeous mansion boasts 10 beds, 12 baths, a 100 foot wooden dock, and nearly an acre of outdoor space. Other features inside include an elevator, wine room, multiple family rooms, and much more. While most spaces offer views to Biscayne Bay and the Miami skyline too. Luxury interiors boast big arch windows and antique fireplaces like the one found in the living room. But should they break up, that's far from all A-Rod and J-Lo will have to say goodbye to. Outside on the Star Island property, it's more like a resort with features like an infinity pool and spa, covered cabana and bar, and of course, a guest house. Since you know, 14,000 square feet isn't enough room. All right, so that's all I got for the homes of Alex Rodriguez. Now we know that if he and J-Lo actually do call it quits, he won't be out on the streets, even if they have to get rid of their brand new $40 million Star Island estate. But with his own super successful career and a nine figure net worth of his own, you already know he'd be doing just fine. Aside from their new mansion, A-Rod still owns his modern and custom estate in Coral Gables, Florida, which he doesn't seem to be selling. After checking out his homes, which was your fave? You can go ahead and rate A-Rod's three homes down in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I love reading your comments on there and getting to chat. We'll link you my latest video. We are staying at the Fairmont Banff Spring, but when we arrived, I was even more excited to find out the place is haunted. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you want to see featured next on this channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!